Hey guys, welcome to your general reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for your August 2024. You can apply this to uh, any of your placements uh, because we're just going to take a look and see what you guys need to know for August and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages messages for the collective uh, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Scorpio. Tell about Scorpio here. What messages do we have here for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know for August 2024? What does Scorpio need to know for August 2024? For Scorpio here. Tell about Scorpio. So, Scorpio, we have be fearless, okay? We have strength. This is about reclaiming your power here. This is about letting not allowing outside forces to affect how you operate in life here. Obviously, the fear that we experience is very real, but this is about acknowledging the fear and not letting the fear control us. You are in control here. We have believe, all right? And then we have celebration on the bottom of the deck here. Okay. What celebration here? I mean, th this could be you celebrating you, overcoming your own fears here, overcoming your own worries, and standing up or stand, stepping into your power here and believing that you can take on anything here. Now that celebration could also be a representation that maybe there is a celebration here for this month. Perhaps there's a party, there's a wedding, you know? Uh, some of you guys could be going uh, going to uh, a, a gathering uh, to reunite with friends, to see friends and family and stuff like that, okay? <laughs> You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like these are people that you might have seen in a very long time here and you could be very nervous or fearful about this here, okay? Do you feel like some here deals a lot, uh, some anger here too? And a lot of times the anger stems from the place of fear, okay? So this is about overcoming your fears here and working on your fears, staying on top of it here. All right, what else do we have here for Scorpio? What else does Scorpio need to know, look out for, work on for? August 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. This could be any of your placements, like I said. So we have the Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Nine of Cups here. Okay, one thing I'm getting here is that, you know, some of you guys could be stepping into a new job here and or uh, stepping into a new position at work. Some of you guys could be getting a promotion or a raise here. And I feel like this message that you're about to receive here is going to make you very, very, very happy. I feel like you're going to be satisfied with it because I feel like you've been waiting for it here, here uh, waiting for it here, Scorpio. What else do we have here for Scorpio? We have the Nine of Swords here and we have the Queen of Cups here. Mr. Scorpio Pisces. Yeah. I do feel like you guys do deal with a lot of worries here. Yeah, fears. And, I, you know, just overthinking. You know, paranoia here. Stress, anxiety. Uh, unable to sleep. Unable to rest. Unable to relax here. And I feel like you're being asked to relax and just trust the process here and believe things are happening for you uh, as they should. Okay. Queen of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. We have the Eight of Cups here and also the Fool card here. Aries energy. So this is about trusting the process. And so also not turning your back on yourself here. Because when you turn your back on yourself, especially when fear is coming in here, you know, you're turning, basically, if you turn your back on your fear, you turn your back on yourself here. This is something that you have to deal with here and work on and sort of stay on top of here. You know, I do feel like for you, Scorpio, some of you guys could deal with paralyzing fear here, okay? Overwhelming fear. And like I said, it could be very real for somebody who has, you know, whatever fear that is. You know, it's about, not about, you know, it's not about like, you know, controlling it per se, but managing it in a way that it doesn't control you here or takes over your life. All right. 
I feel like somebody here has to stop watching the news. Yeah, somebody here has to stop looking at Twitter or watching those TikToks. We have a strength card here and the page of pentacles. I mean, if you are watching like social media or the news and stuff like that, you know, I would suggest like watching something more empowering, you know, something that has to do with healing, personal growth, spiritual growth, spirituality here. Uh, we have the strength card Leo energy here in the King of Cups. We have the King to the Queen of Cups. I mean, someone here could be sending you a message here, uh, you know, when it comes to love. I mean, this message might make you very, 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 very happy here. Okay, whoever this is, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual here that's definitely stepping in to reach out to you here to let you know how they feel. With the Two of Swords here and the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Cups here, wow, someone here really betrayed you here. Perhaps your fear is overcoming being single or being by yourself here. Because I feel like you're making a really difficult decision about walking away from someone here that betrayed you here, that kept you in that as an option here, that was uncertain about you here. Yeah, you're 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 releasing your fears here. You're letting go of someone here that has hurt you here, basically. Okay, so we have the nine of wands here and the hangman, Piscean energy here. Interesting. This is interesting. So I, I feel like some of you guys could have been, you know, due to get married to this individual here, and I feel like you could be ending the celebration here. Yeah, I feel like this is an individual that's not, you feel like this person's not walking the same path as you, or that you feel like, you know, you might be losing your integrity here while you're with someone here that has hurt you here because it's not in alignment with who you are as a person and your core values and your morals here, okay? Celebration, mirrored soul, walk your truth and integrity. So this comes down to overcoming your fears and basically reconnecting with your integrity here and your own truth here. What else do we have here for Pisces? What else is Pi not Pisces, Scorpio? I'm so sorry. Maybe you're dealing with the Pisces here. What else do we have here for Scorpio? What does the Scorpio need to know? Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, and the Ace of Swords here and the King of Wands here. Yeah, I feel like you're having the biggest wake-up call and the biggest epiphany of your life here because I feel like this is going to be life-changing for you guys. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be life-changing for you guys. You know, I feel like perhaps you have the tendency, you know, if things don't go right in a relationship, if there's arguments and fight, fights, you know, you feel like, you know, things can go south and they feel like you don't want to lose this relationship because of that. You know, I do feel like someone here is definitely treating you poorly and I feel like you're just kind of like, just taking it, you know? And I feel like for you, you know, I feel like you might be coming to a realization that, you know, it doesn't have to be this way. You know, you could stand up for yourself, stand in your power here, and f draw the line in the sand with people here, okay? So I feel like this is something that you're learning here, uh, or that this is gonna be, this is something that's gonna come up in August. So Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.